Let's do this. Lacing up those running shoes for the first time? You're not alone. Every seasoned marathoner started exactly where you are now, and with the right running tips for beginners, you can transform from couch to confident runner. We're going to break down everything you need to know to start running, from nailing the right form to staying motivated and crushing your goals. This isn't just about checking off miles, it's about pushing your limits and feeling that runner's high. So are you ready to lace up and hit the pavement? Let's do this. Okay, so you're thinking about running. Maybe you want to get in shape, maybe you're looking for a new challenge, or maybe you just need a way to clear your head. Whatever your reason, running can be that thing. First off, running is one of the most accessible sports out there. You don't need a fancy gym membership, you don't need a ton of equipment, all you need is a pair of shoes and the open road. But here's the real kicker. Running is transformative. Not just physically, but mentally. That feeling of pushing your body further than you thought possible, of conquering those hills, of feeling that runner's high, it's empowering. Running is also a killer stress reliever. When life gets chaotic, hitting the pavement can be the best way to clear your head and just breathe. And the best part, you don't have to do this alone. The running community is huge and incredibly supportive. All right, before you hit the ground running, let's talk form. Good running form is key to preventing injuries and improving efficiency. First, up posture. Imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head. Keep your back straight, shoulders relaxed, and your gaze slightly forward. Next, let's talk about your arms. Bend your elbows at a 90 degree angle and swing them naturally forward and back. Think of your arms as driving your legs forward. Now for your core. This is your powerhouse. Engage those core muscles to help maintain stability. When it comes to your legs and feet, think light and quick. Land mid-foot, not on your heel or toes. This helps absorb impact and propel you forward more efficiently. Remember, good form takes practice. Don't get discouraged if it feels weird at first. Focus on one element at a time and you'll get the hang of it. Ready to build that running base? This six-week plan will ease you into running and gradually increase your endurance. Week one, alternate between running for one minute and walking for two minutes for a total of 20 minutes. Do this three times this week. Week two, run for two minutes, walk for two minutes, for a total of 25 minutes, three times this week. Week three, run for five minutes, walk for three minutes, for a total of 30 minutes, three times this week. Week four, run for eight minutes, walk for two minutes, for a total of 35 minutes twice this week. For your third run, try going for 20 minutes straight. Week five, run for 15 minutes straight twice this week. For your third run, try running for 25 minutes. Week six, aim for three 30 minute runs. Remember, listen to your body, take breaks when you need them and celebrate how far you've come. All right, let's talk gear. You don't need a ton of fancy equipment to start running, but there are a few key items that will make your journey smoother. First and foremost, shoes. You need proper running shoes. Head to a specialty running store and get fitted by a professional. They'll assess your foot type and gait and recommend the best shoes for your needs. Next up clothing. Opt for moisture wicking fabrics that will keep you dry and comfortable. Look for breathable tops, shorts and tights that allow for a full range of motion. A good pair of socks can prevent blisters and keep your feet happy. Invest in moisture wicking socks that provide support and cushioning. A running hat can help regulate your temperature and keep the sun out of your eyes. And if you're running in low light conditions, reflective gear is crucial for visibility and safety. Finally, consider a running watch or a fitness tracker to track your pace, distance and progress. We've all been there. Those rookie running mistakes that can sideline your progress or even lead to injury. But don't worry, I'm here to help you avoid those pitfalls. Mistake number one, starting too fast, too soon, slow and steady wins the race. Gradually increase your mileage and intensity. Mistake number two, skipping recovery. Rest days are just as important as running days. They allow your body to repair and rebuild. Mistake number three, improper nutrition. 
Fueling your body with the right nutrients is crucial. Eat a balanced diet with plenty of carbohydrates, protein and healthy fats. Mistake number four, ignoring pain. Listen to your body. Don't push through sharp or persistent pain. Rest, ice and seek advice from a medical professional. Mistake number five, comparing yourself to others. Everyone's running journey is unique. Focus on your own progress and celebrate your achievements. Running outside is amazing, but it's important to be aware of your surroundings and take steps to stay safe. First things first, be visible. Wear bright colors, reflective gear, and consider using a headlamp or blinking lights. Let someone know your route and expected return time. Especially if you're running alone, be aware of your surroundings. Stay alert, pay attention to traffic, and avoid running in isolated areas. Check the weather forecast before you head out. Dress appropriately for the temperature and conditions. Carry identification with you along with a phone and some cash. You never know when you might need to make a call or grab a drink or snack. When it comes to running, what you eat is just as important as how far you run. Proper nutrition fuels your workouts, aids in recovery and helps you achieve your running goals. Eat a light snack or meal one to two hours before your run. Choose easy to digest carbs like a banana, a small bowl of oatmeal or toast with peanut butter. For runs over an hour, replenish energy with gels, chews or sports drinks. Post run, eat a balanced meal with carbs and protein. This helps replenish glycogen and rebuild muscle. And don't forget to hydrate. Drink water before, during and after your runs. Injury prevention is key for any runner, especially beginners. By incorporating proper warm-up routines, cool-down protocols and cross-training activities, you can minimize your risk of getting sidelined. Before every run, take five to 10 minutes to warm up your muscles and prepare your body for the workout ahead. Start with some light cardio, like brisk walking or jogging in place, followed by dynamic stretches. After your run, don't just stop abruptly. Take five to 10 minutes to cool down with some light jogging or walking followed by static stretches. This will help reduce muscle soreness, improve flexibility and prevent injury. Cross training involves engaging in activities other than running to improve overall fitness and prevent overuse injuries. Swimming, cycling, yoga and strength training are all great options that can complement your running routine. Every runner, from beginners to seasoned marathoners, faces challenges along the way. But don't worry, these challenges are surmountable with the right strategies and a little bit of grit. One common challenge is the dreaded side stitch. This sharp pain in your side is often caused by shallow breathing or weak core muscles. To alleviate the pain, try slowing down, taking deep breaths and gently pressing on the affected area. Muscle soreness is another common hurdle especially when you're first starting out. Listen to your body, rest when needed, and consider incorporating foam rolling or massage into your recovery routine. Mental barriers can be just as challenging as physical ones. Remember to focus on your own journey, celebrate your achievements, and don't be afraid to ask for support from friends, family, or a running community. Congratulations, you've made it this far. Now let's talk about how to make running a sustainable part of your lifestyle. First things first, find a time to run that works for you and stick to it as much as possible. Whether it's early mornings, lunch breaks or evenings, having a consistent schedule will help make running a habit. Set realistic goals that are challenging yet achievable. Don't try to do too much too soon. Start with small attainable goals and gradually increase your mileage or intensity over time. Find a running buddy or join a running group. Having someone to run with can provide motivation and accountability. Track your progress and celebrate your achievements. Whether it's logging your miles in a journal, using a fitness tracker or simply acknowledging how far you've come, recognizing your accomplishments will help you stay motivated. Remember, running is a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs, good runs and bad runs. The key is to stay consistent, listen to your body, and most importantly, enjoy the process. Remember, every runner started as a beginner. 
These running tips for beginners are your foundation for a successful running journey. Start slowly, build gradually, and most importantly, enjoy the process. Running can become a lifelong passion that brings health, happiness, and achievement to your life. Whether your goal is to run a 5K or simply improve your fitness, following these guidelines will help you develop a sustainable and enjoyable running practice. Stay consistent, be patient with your progress, and celebrate every milestone along the way. Disclaimer, always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise program. These tips are general guidelines and should be adjusted based on your individual fitness level and health status.